So I'm talking to Dan Hayes here from White House Machine Tools about the Brother Control System. Uh, now we've done uh, a lot of episodes here at, um, at Kenilworth at their headquarters talking about the BT30 Brother Machines, the comparison to the BT40 and how these machines are now uh, developing to be very competitive in that area. Now, Dan, some of the things we've spoken about in previous episodes have been cycle time reduction, reductions in, in downtime. A lot of that will come as a result of your control system. Yes. So can you maybe explain about some of the developments and some of the features that uh, make that apply? Yeah, so the, uh, the Brother product has just uh, made a change recently to the D00, which is the fourth generation control. Uh, what that has effectively allowed them to do is um, continue with the, 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 the technology uh, side and take advantage of those opportunities essentially. So, so are these controls, I mean we talk about, and again the main, the main thrust here is to make the comparison between BT40 machines and this BT30 technology. Um, if we can get reductions in cycle times and reductions in downtimes, how does the control help and how does it do it? What are the features that it's got within it that provide those savings? Um, so it's not the, essentially the Achilles heel, so we've got uh, obviously advanced read ahead um, so we can see ahead of the actual uh, program and we can apply accessory um, accuracy settings on toolpaths etc to allow us to apply an apex to a, a, um, a surface if we need to actually harness even further um, cycle time uh, decrease, uh, decreases. So all of these little, little wins just allow us to actually take advantage of of um, decreasing that downtime. But how would you best describe this control system as well and how does it compare to something that may be traditionally used on the shop floor with a, with a, with a, with a BT40 machine? Um, so it's an ISO based control, um, it's their brother software so it's, it's very transferable, it's what everybody will know, it's G and M codes. Um, They've got, different, some, they've got different M codes and G codes uh, relative to the actual product, um, but they are, you can use essentially the norm. Um, say for instance, a tool change is M6, we've got a G100. So you can, either use, uh, you can use either one, but if we were to use G100, we would then be able to capitalize on the simultaneous tool change. So those little bits, you can, you can just stick with the basic or you can then really take advantage of the actual, uh, the latest revision of control and then and, and I mean, how advanced is it these days? I mean, you've got some pretty tasty five-axis technology, some mill turn technology in the in the M300. Can you do certain things on this control, like what five-axis, full five-axis simultaneous machining, maybe gear skiving and gear hobbing? Uh, uh, does it enable you to do that? Yeah. So the the old the, the predecessor to that, the C00, we could do simultaneous four uh, four plus one. But now with a D00, we can apply simultaneous machining to uh, to uh, all of the S series machines. Uh, sorry, all of the uh, series machines. So that allows us to um, say, if we were to put an additional axis on a on a standard S series machine on a free axis, we can then go simultaneous um, uh, with an A or a C or a B or a C or however you want the configuration. So that that um, new software allows us to do so. Yeah. Um, and we talk about and have done in previous episodes about the efficiency of the, the BT30 machine and, and the comparison between that and the BT40. How are you monitoring it on this control and what are the features that it's got that I guess would excite the user to be able to see some of these gains? Well effectively you've got um, features to allow uh, the, the actual operator ease of use uh, features effectively but then you can also then dig into it and you can have, see status logs so you can see um, times per tool so you can see the quick wins potentially the low hanging fruits to improve so you've got that little added benefit you can then go into the uh, the consumption of power and air etc so then you can have a look and see how much power usage you're using and then you might be going okay well I need to I suppose not many people will do but you could apply um, a power consumption aspect to uh, machine strategies and then pull that back and then you use uh, effectively less fuel power um, to drive the spindles and, and, and do the machining. So, so, it's, so it's pretty clever yes. um, I, think, I think we'd agree on that. Uh, if I was a BT40 machining centre user and I was offered uh, all these advantages I talk about, the cycle time improvements and um, you know the space saving, the, the, the saving on power and energy consumption, but I was nervous about switching controls from something I was familiar with. 
how would you reassure me if I came here? And is it something that's easy to reassure someone and, and, and why that this control can do everything that they can do um, and they should opt for it? Yeah, so we just need the opportunity for the customer to come in so we can actually showcase that product. If they're used to a, 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 an ISO based control, they can they can hand over the programs and we can then uh, we can run through, do a conversion and they can see how easy it is. Everything, there's no, uh, I suppose, the the standard as set in datums tools, they're not made hard, they're easy to do. Um, the, the difference is the technology and that's cutting out the waste.